If you are currently using Renaissance products, this page will look familiar to you. For those of you who are new, you'll want to look at the STAR 360 tab and identify the assessments below. We're going to focus on reading assessments, but note that the same procedure that we go through here would be the, uh, followed in the math assessments. Let's click on reading assessments and choose screening, progress monitoring, and intervention. We're starting off here because we want to show you the benchmarks. On the left side of the screen, under setup, click on view benchmarks. The benchmark options include school, district, and state. In this example, we're using the Wisconsin Forward Exam. Keep in mind, this will change based on the state that you're in. The state benchmarks, which are based on the linking studies that Eric described, helps determine if students are on track to meeting state expectations. Notice that grades three through eight are shaded. This means that these are the grades that take a summative test in the spring and the grades that we have linking data. We also provide scores for the non-linked grades, grades one through two and nine through 12, based on that data we've collected. Once you view the data, click on done. Keep in mind users with admin capabilities will be able to modify benchmarks and set the default. Teacher level users will be able to view the benchmarks but will not have any capabilities to make modifications. Now that we view the benchmarks, let's take a look at a couple key reports. Return to the home page and under reading assessments, choose reports. You'll notice there are a variety of reports to choose from. However, we're just going to focus on a few. The first report that we'll take a look at is the screening report. Choose the school, click on screening, and choose your students. Typically, the screening report is one of the first reports that is generated once students have taken a STAR assessment. Choose your reporting period. The benchmark is defaulted to the state, but you can certainly view the other benchmark options. And then click in Show Student Details. Then view the report. The first page of the screening report highlights the percentage of students within each benchmark category. Because this report is set using state benchmarks, it shows the student's current scaled score as well as the scaled score needed at the time of the state assessment to stay within a specific benchmark category. Key questions are also provided at the bottom of this graph to help you identify where support may be needed. Beneath the initial graph and table, the data is further broken down based on benchmark categories. You will see the students that fall into each benchmark category, the date of their most recent test, and several scores based on that test. Once teachers have determined which students may need additional support or intervention, we suggest teachers using the goal setting tool within the software to help set the most appropriate goals to help each student reach proficiency. To set a goal, let's return to the home page, click on reading assessments, choose screening, progress monitoring, and intervention, and you'll see the tab progress monitoring and goal. We're going to choose our school, choose our grade, and search for the student. 
You'll see that some students already have a goal set for them. We're going to choose Bella and we have the option to edit that existing goal. So let's click on Edit Goal, fill in the appropriate information, the intervention name, the goal end date, the starting test, the goal type, and uh, once you've determined what you want to set, you want to calculate the goal. To help you set the most appropriate goal, you'll want to click on Interpretation and Guidance to give you step-by-step -step directions in filling out the information listed here to help you set the most appropriate goal. Once you've set the goal, you'll click on Calculate Goal and then Save. Once goals are set, you can track students' progress monitoring towards those goals using the Progress Monitoring Report. Let's return to the home page, choose Reports, choose the school, and click on Student Progress Monitoring. I can scroll through all the students in my class or I can click on students and choose a particular student. I'm going to choose Bella and save her selection. Here the goal has been set represented by the gold star. After Bella has taken three assessments, a black, trine, a black trend line appears to show us how Bella is performing according to that goal or in relationship to that goal. And we can see that she is uh, being successful and the educator can determine whether to continue the goal or modify that goal. Let's go back to select a different report. There's one more report that uh, we'll want to take a look at um, and this report specifically is related to the linking study. It provides much more insight to how students are likely to perform on state summative assessments. This report is the STAR State Performance Report. I'm going to click on State Performance Student I can look at my entire class. I can look at all of my uh, individual students. We're going to keep it on Bella Barrett and save that selection. And here we can see that Bella, although she's making significant gains in her um, progress, um, we can see that uh, she is not likely going to do well on her state summative assessment by the time that test is administered in the spring. However, this gives educators uh, better insight throughout the school year to determine what is needed prior to that state assessment being administered so teachers can um, make changes to curriculum or support uh, to improve student outcomes. One last um, item that we'll show you or one last resource um, in addition to the reports found in STAR assessment software, we also have a linking tool on our website that helps determine students' proficiency on the ACT college admissions tests. To access this tool, go to our website, www.renaissance.com, click on Resources, and then click on the ACT SAT Benchmarks. This brings you to our uh, ACT SAT tool. SAT benchmark tool. Here we provide some general information about um, making sure students are tracked to meeting those uh, benchmarks. As I scroll down the page, there's uh, more technical information and if you're interested, we do have the technical reports if you want more information about the linking process. So here you'll find the links, the ACT and the SAT. We'll just click on the SAT to show you an example of what that report looks like. 
So again, providing you uh, the details uh, surrounding the research uh, with this linking study. We'll close this out and return to the ACT-SAT benchmark tool. And we'll continue uh, with adding information uh, to reveal students' scores. So here we see the tabs reading or math. We're going to choose reading, but keep in mind the same process will be followed if you're entering math scores. On the left side of the screen, you can see that you can enter class level data as early as sixth grade. Uh, your choice is here, 6th through 12th grade. We're going to choose a student in 8th grade. The month in which they took their STAR assessment and the benchmark. Most of you uh, will be choosing the national benchmark. This provides the estimate pathway of achievement for the SAT and ACT benchmarks. For those of you who are in Illinois or West Virginia, you have additional options. These options describe a student's performance in comparison to the estimated pathway for the benchmark adopted by the Illinois State Board of Education as well as the West Virginia Board of Education. We're going to choose the national benchmark and you'll notice right below there we have some additional links for more information on how to interpret this report. You'll also have the option to print this report and then information and helpful tips to improving student performance. So let's continue and add some data into this page. So here you're going to add the students, um, whether it's their uh, student ID or other um, identification that is unique for those students, something that makes sense to you. We're going to enter this student's star score. And here you can see that the student's scores are in green, indicating that this student is on track uh, and likely on target to meet the benchmark expectations for the SAT, ACT, and the ACT reading and um, English. These students should strive to maintain or increase performance to keep on track for college and career success. You also have the option to continue to add students. And here we see that this student's scores are in yellow, indicating that this student may not be on target to meeting college entrance benchmarks expectations. You can see too that we can view that data uh, in a graph form, simply clicking on the blue buttons right below the graph. You can see that the benchmarks um, change, but the scores do not. So we can clearly see how students, a group of students, are performing uh, based on those benchmark expectations. As I continue to scroll down, um, notice if you recall before, we showed you those links on the left uh, where the information is also provided below the graph, uh, giving you information on how to interpret this report as well as tips to improving student performance. And also keep in mind that if you are looking at math, um, you'll see um, information about how to improve students' performance in math, some helpful tips there. If you don't have Renaissance Star Assessments and want more information, we've included some contact information below. Um, if you also have any questions about this page or really any questions about Star Assessments, uh, please uh, contact us and we'll be more than happy to um, talk with you.